And this comes as the Wall Street Journal reports the Department of Justice wants to unlock phones and in a dozen other cases not related to terrorism. Bob Thibodeau is CEO of Drive Trust Alliance and an encryption and cybersecurity expert, so just the right person to talk to about this. Bob, you have some just initial questions before we dig down into exactly what's going on and what people want at this point and where everyone stands about why this is such a public debate. Tell us a little bit about your background and why you have some questions about why both sides are so public here. Yes, um, so I'm the creator of something called uh, self-encrypting drive technology, uh, and it's associated with uh, devices that are, are encrypting the same way the iPhone is encrypting and the iPad is encrypting. Uh, we have today literally billions of people every day are using self-encrypting drives and don't know it. So for example, all of Google is self-encrypting drive technology protecting people's privacy uh, uh, basically their stuff. Okay. Uh, and so it turns out that the, um, in developing that, I was a chief technologist at Seagate, and uh, we would get a request. So for example, the VMI attack, the, the attacker at uh, uh, Virginia Military uh, threw his disk drive into the pond and the government brought us the disk drive to try to get the data off of it, and we're happy to do it as long as we did it quietly. Hmm. Uh, we didn't want to create a, a, a precedence, and we certainly didn't have any back doors on any of the drives. None of these uh, drives that uh, we did, are, 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 and the iPhone and the iPad are the same. They don't have back doors, and that's intentional. So, Bob, do you and just so we're looking at something that looks awfully fishy to us? It, it's fishy. Um, it's fishy to you because why? Because you think that these could be. Pri you know, more private conversations between the government and uh, Apple, or do you just have any questions about why this battle is playing out in, in such a public sphere? It, it's because of the, you know, couple of decades of experience I've got uh, where these matters are all dealt with very quietly. So, for example, um, uh, there are groups in the United States government that could address this pretty much as easily as Apple could address it, and uh, we're confused as to why um, the government isn't taking care of the government. Why do you, why do you think it is? Uh, we think that uh, what, what's happening is the government wants Apple to give them a tool that they can then use without Apple's permission, hmm. uh, which is a back door. And the problem that we have with that is not that certain individuals in the government are using that tool. It's that the experience tells us from the security world uh, that that tool will get out to our enemies and everybody else. Well, and now all of a sudden, uh, you'll have uh, people, uh, companies, families um, who can no longer uh, have faith that their privacy is being preserved. And that's a huge um, concern for, for so many of us and so many of our viewers, uh, the balance between those things. Just quickly before I let you go, what do you think is the solution here? So there are two solutions. One is uh, there needs to be uh, education around the what I call a front door approach. All of these self-encrypting drive devices have a front door capability, including the iPhones and the iPads. And I'll give you an example. In uh, medicine, the healthcare, uh, the, the, the law requires that all self encrypting, all encrypting uh, data has centrally, is centrally managed. And when it's centrally managed, the company or the entity, in the case of San Bernardino, the county, um, can actually uh, recover the data no matter what the guy does with the phone. Interesting. And unfortunately, what goes on is, is Places like that uh, do not adopt the central management uh, software that's out there today. And if they did, um, a lot of this would be a mute point, at least at, at this time, because we would have had access, because they would have set up a certain structure. Bob, I have to leave it there. I'm up, right. up against a commercial, but um, it's great to have your expertise on the program. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you.